Pickwick told the community tonight, I hear you, and she said, let's keep talking as we work toward and wait for answers. Today, we all gathered here to show our anger, our frustration, our deep concern. Hundreds of members of the Muslim and Bangladeshi communities filled the front steps of Cambridge City Hall, demanding justice for Saeed Faisal. The 20-year-old UMass student was shot and killed by Cambridge police last Wednesday after a confrontation in which police allege Faisal lunged at them with a large knife. But surveillance video and witness accounts suggest that Faisal was running from police trying to hurt himself. Friends say police should have recognized that the young man, who his parents call Prince, was having a mental health crisis and he needed help, not bullets. Prince was a normal law-abiding citizen who had no record of any kind with law enforcement. He was never violent towards anyone. We want to know what happened. Tonight I share your distress, your confusion, your pain at your lowest point. Cambridge's mayor admits that trust has been shaken. Where we go from here is challenging. Police say they tried sponge bullets first to get Faisal to put down the knife and only use lethal force as a last resort. I want you to be assured that the police department is committed to a complete and transparent investigation. Community members are digging in for a long fight. We are not going to be quiet about this. The DA's office confirms that a judge will oversee an independent inquest into Faisal's death. City leaders are hosting a community meeting this Thursday night at the Martin Luther King Jr. School. That's at 6 p.m. in Cambridge. I'm Mary Salatna, WCBB News Center 5.